In this video I'm going to show how to use Perception Neuron in Unity. So start Axis Neuron. Uh, I can close this window. Uh, connect to connect your Perception Neuron. Connecting. There, next step will be to go to File Settings. And we click, yeah, I click the broadcasting there and ensure that the BVH broadcasting is enabled. Uh, it's not enabled by default, so you have to go in here and enable it. The port 7001 can be there. Uh, it's, it's good. And next step will be to calibrate. So in this case, I only have my right arm connected, so so it will only be a three-step uh, calibration. So we have the steady pose. Arm has to be still. Uh, okay, and I move my finger slightly there, so I have to rerun that. Yeah, good. Okay, so next is the A pose. Arm straight down. And then we have the T pose, arm straight out. And that's it. And then you see you have the neuron, uh, neurons calibrated and you can move your arm, your fingers. So that's pretty, uh, that's pretty much what you have to do in, in the axis neuron. Looks good. Let's minimize this. It has to be open still though. And let's start Unity. And create a new project. And let's call it uh, like hello, yeah. Hello Perception Neuron. And let's create project. So we need to import the Unity integration package. So let's go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. And then you need to point out where you downloaded and put the integration, Unity integration package. And it's there, yeah, open. And here we have the list of all all the items that will be imported. Uh, we, we can just import everything, even if we're not using everything. And it has some scripts or items here that's a, that uh, uses obsolete APIs, but Unity will help us with that, so let's go ahead. And yeah, we can see them in the assets now. So we have the new run folder and they're in the prefabs we want to, so, uh, yeah, we want to use the neuron robot. So, and we can see what it contains. We have the IP address that's for local host or computer, the port 7001. So that's that's all good. So yeah, now we have the neuron robot in our scene, and I want to put it in 000. So, so we have it. We we know where we have it in, in the world. There, and let's create a plane also, so we have something to stand on. Good, so let's see here, yeah, let's move, I'm gonna move the camera closer to the character, so we can actually see what's happening. And I'll give it a slight, yeah, I'll raise it slightly here, so. So we get a nice isometric view like that, yeah. Okay, so if I click play here, and we'll see what happens. There, so if I move my arm, nothing happens, and that's because there's a step here that we have to do that is essential. So we have to select the new robot, and there we need to check the box connect to axis important step here yeah, and if we could click play now we can see that that my arm movements are reflected correctly here and it 
looks not it doesn't look this juddery uh, as it it's shown here uh, this is because I'm using this easy vid uh, screen capture tool so it's uh, uh, it's making my computer run slower yeah so the next step will be to uh, add a cube here because we want to see that we can actually interact with environments like uh, with objects in in the environment so I'll place this cube so I can actually reach it. Since I don't have the hips or uh, the upper body or lower body uh, neurons in place, uh, I, can't, I can't really lean forward to, to touch this box, so I need to place it somewhere where, where the arm itself will reach. Moving it in into a predefined position that I know will be good enough. And then, yeah, I can just move it straight up and then change the size so it won't actually hit the character itself. Yeah, like that. Yeah, and if I click play now. Oh, okay, it's not falling down, so we need to add a rigid body component. So it's add component. Click uh, physics and rigid body. That's, yeah, that's it. If we keep, click play now, it will fall towards the plane. There, okay, and it, look, it looks a little bit short, so we need to make it uh, taller. Okay, good. So if I move my hand towards it now and yeah, so it's easy. I mean, it, there's nothing, no interaction at all. The hand just goes straight through. So how do we do this now? Let's see, so we have to, uh, yeah, so proven point there. So I have to select, I have to select the character. Uh, the robot, neuron robot, and in the menu option, neuron, that was part of the import, is actually a skeleton tools. And here we have to add colliders, and we have to add rigid bodies. Yeah, and if I click play here, there, and if I touch, touch it now yeah but now you can see here that I'm actually interacting with it uh, and as I said it's it looks really juddery here but it uh, doesn't at all when uh, when I'm not recording my screen yeah so let's push it yeah that's cool okay so that's it that's how how you get started with perception neuron in in unity Yeah, thanks for watching.